you know, every missed call was from my doctor. He basically said, get in, get in a cab immediately. There, uh, there's a leukemia doctor at New York Presbyterian who's gonna see you. And I was just like, you know what? I called my manager, you know? I called my agent. I think when they think the tour might be canceled, I call my tour manager, you know what I mean? And, I, and I, as it's all setting in, I say the word leukemia sort of for the first time, I'm just like, you know, and then you can see this cab driver, like, you know, dreadlocks, like jamming. And I realized halfway through the park that I only had $13. And I told him, I was like, you gotta stop the cab. Like, I, I don't have enough money. You know, he's, and he was like, you, I got you, don't worry. I'll take you where you're going. The typical therapy would have been a three-year regimen of chemotherapy. About halfway through my first round of therapy, we found out that my sister was like a 10 out of 10 match. There were dangers to doing the stem cell, but, the, but my doctor was really passionate about, he felt like it was my, my shot at the cure, and so we, we did it. I celebrated 10 years uh, in remission. I count August 22nd, which was, my, which was my transplant date, as kind of my official remission date. There's an organization that, uh, that works closely with my foundation, the Dear Jack Foundation. Their organization is called Love, Hope, Strength. They're set up right over there. They're signing people up for the bone marrow registry. Uh, I'm standing on this stage 10 years later, cancer-free, because I was matched by a perfect match that saved my life. We met our first official uh, stem cell bone marrow donor at, the, uh, at a show on this tour. Good to meet you, too. You don't expect to be sidelined when you're, when you're that age. It's a very dangerous time to lose time. If doing this a hundred times saved one life, I mean, like rock and roll show, you save a life. I mean, that's a that's a pretty that's a pretty awesome thing.